Let's go over the future of the Star Wars franchise when it comes to president of Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, recently we've heard a lot of things of what's going on behind the scenes over at Disney and Lucasfilm, not only involving the standalone films, but also what's happening between both Bob Iger and Kathleen Kennedy. Apparently Bob Iger wants Kathleen Kennedy out, as we learned from Grace Randolph and others as well. It seems as so that Kathleen Kennedy's time as president of Lucasfilm is very well coming near to an end here. So looking at Star Wars as a whole, all right, I do in fact want to go over some updates involving Kathleen Kennedy. Now you guys may have heard just yesterday that Kathleen Kennedy will no longer be involved with Star Wars Episode Nine, at least creatively speaking. And as Grace even noted, Grace Randolph, just a couple of days ago, all right, is that she's laying this all on J.J. Abrams' shoulders now. So if anything does go wrong with Episode Nine, since it is indeed DOA, dead on arrival, and nothing's changing with the script as of yet, nothing's changing with the release date, Episode Nine right now is what it is. And, and if anything goes wrong, it's all going to be for J.J. Abrams, you know, to blame on, not Kathleen Kennedy. So apparently that's how things are going over there. But aside from all of that, from everything, all right, Kennedy is said to not be involved at all creatively, even with John Favreau's live action TV series and the new Star Wars trilogy by D&D, &D, the creators of Game of Thrones, David Binoff and D.B. Weiss, and even Ryan's said trilogy, Ryan Johnson's new Star Wars trilogy. Now, let me stop right here for a second because this sounds like Kennedy is leaving soon, either getting fired or stepping down. It's one of those things. Absolutely. I really do believe that something is happening with Kathleen Kennedy as we speak behind the scenes. To me, it really just all comes down to Disney not wanting to lose money and Kennedy's poor judgment on choosing some writers and directors. Now, Kennedy's successor announcement in September may very well be accurate. Remember that story a couple of weeks ago that Kathleen Kennedy may very well announce her successor as president of Lucasfilm come this September. And then sometime after that, said successor will take over Kathleen Kennedy. We'll have to see how accurate that really is. But from what we have been hearing behind the scenes from several people and everything, Things really seem to be happening with Kathleen Kennedy exiting at Lucasfilm. Now, I don't really see her attending Celebration in April, even if she ends up still being the head of Lucasfilm, I think she'll still be a no-show. And I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm very confident in saying that because if you think about it, look how many hardcore fans go to those events. And a lot of people just aren't happy where the direction of Star Wars is going ever since the release of The Last Jedi. And looking at everything here, I just don't feel Kathleen Kennedy would attend such a thing. Now, I want to ask you guys something. Who should take over Kathleen Kennedy besides Dave Filoni? Because yes, Dave Filoni knows the creative side of things when it comes to Star Wars. He gets it. But can he run a business? I'm not so quite sure on that. So who else could run as president of Lucasfilm? Now, Kevin over at Marvel, you know, he would be a breath, of, a breath of fresh air, I gotta tell you guys right now, but he's way too busy with the Marvel movies, so I'm pretty sure he's out of the question. I feel like that Bob Iger is gonna get somebody that's within the Disney company already to take over as president of Lucasfilm. Now, the Solo's box office results, it really made Disney lose a lot of money. At the end of the day, it was Kennedy's fault for replacing the director so late into filming where the whole movie had to basically be reshot, like 80% of it. And that's one thing to think about here because yes, Kennedy, you know, it did cost a lot of money. They basically waited till the very end to let, you know, Lord and Miller go, to fire them and replace them with Ron Howard. I don't know why Kathleen Kennedy, you know, decided to make the call so late into production. I remember they were about to wrap up filming and then we hear that they got fired and then that Ron Howard had to reshoot basically the whole movie. It cost them tons and tons of money. You don't even want to know. So. I think it's necessary for her replacement, all right, right now, and I think it's also necessary that her replacement just gets Star Wars, creatively speaking. My one fear, though, however, is what if her successor 
is worse than Kathleen Kennedy herself. So I don't know if you guys, you know, share the same fear as me, but what if Bob Iger makes a decision where he replaces Kathleen Kennedy with somebody who also just doesn't get Star Wars and only knows the business side of things, and at the same exact time, also isn't good with business. Anyways, you know, I'm pretty optimistic in Bob Iger right now because I think that he realizes the faults within Kathleen Kennedy and they don't want to make things, you know, a whole lot worse, you know, going down the road here with the Star Wars franchise. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.